Semper Vivum loves uh, water, so See, we need. That's what I, so I'm so unsure. Uh, with uh, the ones in the in the back there. Yeah. I keep on forgetting, but now I will remember. Okay, we throw this into the bin. Yeah, here, here. Yes, here. Ah, okay. Uh, these I are I plants. What you said. Yes. Uh, how to spray? There is a spray. Oh no, this one, Mum. You've got the Eco Pass oil that I gave you, so that's just a mealybug. And you can just spray them with the Eco Pass oil yeah. that I gave yeah. you in yeah. the container. So, but we need to clean up any brown yeah. leaves. Yeah. We have to take off. And um, and that one you can just drown it, Mum. Just just yeah, soak the whole yes, thing in yes, water. Yes, yes, yes. And yes, yes. sometimes, and what about this one? same thing that needs water as well. Uh, please excuse me just for a Okay, so this is uh, plants that I've given Mum. And this one is actually, this is ready a long, long, long time. This elegance really need to be soaked as well. So you can see uh, how soft and flimsy it is. So now this one is lavender scallop or something like that. This is a kalanchoe, but look how beautiful the colors. See, look at that, beautiful uh, purple. And this one needs to be cleaned up. And that one, the jelly beans. So if you want to see a dehydrated jelly beans, this is a good example of a dehydrated jelly beans. Now this is a little quack quack arrangement I gave mom uh, for Christmas, so th I think two years ago this one, two or three years ago. Oh my goodness, so this got the Aurora, so they're still alive and that's an important thing. I got Sedum uh, Little Missy or something like that and then we've got this corn cob, Euphobia corn cob. Uh, and look, there's a little baby on the side. And then so hello little duck and then uh, the sedums, this other sedum here as well. Uh, so that's still good, it's just need a little bit of trimming so I have to do that when I come back next time because I'm in a rush and then but then I have no Bocarnia recorbata left. This is the only living Bocarnia recorbata that came from me that I gave mom and she's doing a good job in looking after it. Look how many how many heads it's got. Look, beautiful. So if they start shooting off roots in the bottom, you can actually chop that off and replant it. But not in winter or autumn. That's best done uh, at the end of winter. That way they got time to recuperate, callus off, and then be planted in springtime. So you can have a healthy plant. But then maybe I can do a video later on where we're gonna harvest some of that uh, living one. So I can't keep it in my place because I kept killing them because I leave them out in the open. So these ones I've given mom as well. Look how beautiful the paddy peat. Just gorgeous, this paddy peat. So don't mind the people <laughs> who are about to go out. So I'm just doing inspections of this plant. So these ones need watering as well, but we're not gonna water at the moment because it's really, really hot unless you put it in the shade. So tomorrow's forecast. So we're getting 36 degrees Celsius. And then 39, 40, 39. So 39, 40, and then 39 again. So it's going to be hot days coming. And these plants can be watered. So they're really, really like dry. They can be soaked. Soaked. This Lilacina can be soaked as well. This is Victoretta. That's red edge. They can be soaked. And uh, as long as they're in the shade, they're fine. So if they're out in the sun like this, so this is now about 4.30 in the afternoon. So don't water them like it is now. Let them cool down and when it cools down, the temperature cools down at night time, then you can put them in the shade, soak them and they should be fine. And this one as well, look at this crassula here. So all these crassulas, look at that beautiful plant in this big cup. See, the cup and saucer. I love this cup and saucer, there you go. So that's a beautiful arrangement. So these are very impressive looking Semper Vivums. Look how gorgeous they are. And big. 
and a lot of them so they're just getting they get morning sun and afternoon sun shade see shaded by this bush over here and so they are just growing marvelously look at that big look at that beautiful so and no mealybug because they're being watered regularly and on the other side here mom's got her little shade cloth area <laughs> and look at the sempervivums oh my goodness they have exploded look how much there is oh wow they're actually really fast growing uh, succulent but you can't put them really you can put them out in the open and they can take the frost it can be minus 50 they'll still survive but uh, if you want them to grow to, to grow a lot of them where they're not stressed then you have to put it in sort of some protection so this one gets the shade cloth so i think this shade cloth is like 75 percent so a lot of the sedums will stay green like this and haven't been watered for a while because that ben musami has got some mealybugs in there so probably tell mom to water that and hose it down so even the sempervivums at the back they need some watering so when they're in the garden you tend to get less mealybug compared to growing them in the pot and this one as well and uh, oscularia deltoides i think I'm, I'm sure i'm not sure if i got that name right but this deltoides here is really beautiful pink flowers if they're this one preferred the sun but this one now we're just growing it here for now and mom can transplant this in her front garden and again another plant there i mean another sempervivum with a mealybug see that white fluffy bit so if you have your succulents in the garden planted in the garden i advise that you water them give them water lots of water and then another this is actually we we um propagated this is the mother plant of the chivirgia benimusumi and we separated the babies before the pups and then now they're all growing here see look at that so she'll have uh, a few of them bunch like this by next year those small ones will grow into a bunch like that oh there's more look here oh look how many there is that only came from one plant this is two years ago and paddy peat and i'm sure if i look underneath that there'll be lots of paddy peat baby paddy peats hiding there as well this was the trot I gave her with all the different succulents and she's so afraid to put it in the garden that she just left it here. But anyway, the birds, I think, has been hacking into it as well. But anyway, the main thing is they're still alive. It's five o'clock. Okay, it's five o'clock. The boss said it's five o'clock and we are going. Mom, can you please hold the tap because it's just oh, the, the hose. I'm going to turn it on and we are going to water some of mom's plants that's really dried up in here so this one now because it's in the shade that one there getting the sun what have you got there the chives aren't they yes. yeah see that one is really dry that um uh that uh <laughs> that daisy looking plant so anyway oh this one here you can water this one the birds has been hacking it see look the bird's been eating the plants. This one we can water. And this one here. Even in the shade, I mean even in the shade, even the sort of the ones there that's getting part sun, you could really water it. And it's 30 degrees at the moment, 30.2 in Canberra and the one at the back that's just got mealybug is what we're going to uh, hang on if you're gonna ask me when am I gonna water it next after watering this one maybe for this area because this is the garden uh, we'll do this one too because they're getting a bit soft as well hang on I just reduce this there you go that's better oopsie there you go so 30 degrees in Canberra and we're watering succulents and just please take note this is improvised room 
And the echeveria that we watered was Beni Musumi over there, but it's in shaded, protected afternoon sun. So this is westerly sun, afternoon sun wall, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know my east, west, north, south, so that's why I have to ask the boss. There you go. So now this is, oh, they're going to love it. And those, those uh, plate size ones are going to be dinner plate size in uh, a few days' time. So there you go. So we water everything. They love, 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 love water. And they're supposed to be dormant right now, but what I found with Semper Vibum, this is, I think, Calcarium, they love water even in summer. Oh, we'll give a little spritzing on this side still because the the soil will get moist or wet on top but a lot of them still stays dry in the bottom so there you go folks and that's it for today there you go and I'm watering succulents well mum succulents say hello to the folks in YouTube mum